Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video, guys. If you are level 15 or below, make sure to use the promo code Starco to get a free starter pack. To do so, it is pretty simple. You go in the settings, use promo code, and you enter the code Starco, S-T-A-R-K-O. You press OK and you will receive a free starter pack and hopefully you guys will enjoy the goodies so guys today we are jumping in the new personal ray guys we're gonna be talking it's kind of gonna be a, a beginner guide uh we're gonna be talking about what's important in this raid and uh you know we're gonna talk about shit guys so uh the, you have to go in guild raid to access those personal ray guys and by the way obviously the title says we're talking about bell ringer revenge personal raid today guys so that is what we're going to be talking about today uh we're going to be covering the other two raids in the following days so first thing you're going to know guys is that there are three raids obviously i'm going to give some basic info here and each raid will have a different system as a different weakness like raid number one which is bell ringer revenge uh weak against bleed Raid number two, which is, uh, I forgot the name, uh, is uh, Burn. Uh, that is weak against, well, give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to find, uh, oh, Gloom. Uh, Gloom, whatever, is Burn as weakness. And then you have Sentient uh, Spores. Uh, that is actually his weakness. He has no weakness. But we'll have as, and you need to bring as much AoE as possible and time your AoE with that and do not have uh inflict debuff on him because that's buff him that's pretty much the basic of a tree fight but obviously here guys bell ringer revenge is today so we're gonna go in more info here i'm gonna talk a little bit about it and then we're gonna go and showcase what bleed actually do in this round by the way guys i'm back with my old account for this video because i have no bleed on my new account so <laughs> at some point i have to bring some uh you know some uh, personal rate content and uh they still did not update um the the test server for the personal rate to work as it works on the live server so i cannot cover uh this with team we build on the test server yet but that will be coming soon when we talk about the best team for each uh personal rate obviously so here we go guys so uh phase one here you can see the damage he does i, I mean i don't actually care about what he does here guys but he has a lot of ability i only has one phase by the way guys um by the way guys also another thing every time you kill the hp bar is hp increase and, re and his bar reset and then uh you take a life you get a rank up on the boss i'm going to talk about uh, that a little bit more a little bit later in the reward section but here we go guys um so, uh, Bellringer receives 75% less damage from attack immune to poison burning, days stun, block skill, blind, reducing turn meter, and debuff that increase cooldown. Bleeding deals double damage. As you can see, bleeding is all that is important. Also, uh, at the start of each turn, removes all negative effect except from bleeding except bleeding from himself, inflict them on a random enemy's with the same duration so you don't really want to apply debuff other than bleed on the target and then after that we have a rebirth green gain cheat death at the start of the battle each time bell ringer survive fatal damage you remove all negative effect except from except bleeding lose all rage effect and restore 100 percent health and gain one rebirth rebirth increase health damage potency tenacity speed and armor and gain rage at the end of each turn rage increase damage okay so now guys every time you kill him you're gonna get ranks that's what the ranks here mean i mean to get the maximum rewards you need to kill him 49 times so his uh, ability that stack up go up to 49 and then actually at that point you have a chance to get all the the rewards and that goes from there the last rewards here if you don't kill him one time you still get a little bit of rewards kill him one time 
actually zero here you get the second reward so i guess the first rank zero is useless here because you get rank zero at the second one anyway anyway uh see as you kill him more often you get more rewards personally i get him down to between 21 and 29 usually uh that's usually where i am standing so top rewards i get will be here uh and then you know, if you can get him higher, you can actually get red scrolls, by the way, guys. The drop rate is trash, but you can still get red scroll if you get it. Where most people are going to be standing on the gold, you know, 20, 21, uh, and plus, you're going to have a chance to get a lot of, uh, a good amount of legendary scrolls and uh, other gears. So, that's pretty much it, guys, for, you know... The basic system, if, he, if I miss any points, guys, let me know in the comment section. I'll answer any question you have. Next, guys, going to be jumping in here, and we are actually going to try to do some damage here, guys. So, the team we're going to be bringing is not this team. Definitely not this team. So, the team we're going to be bringing, we're going to be bringing Zira. She has Bleed. Then Garn, he has Bleed. Trumgar, I believe he has bleed. I'm not sure about this one, but we need a tank anyway. We're going to have this guy because he has bleed. And now we have to bring a fifth one. Uh, technically, we want to bring somebody that can actually do bleed. So we are going to bring Arch Hero in this team. I mean, I could bring somebody else, a healer or whatever. But I never tried this team, to be honest. I want to see how far we're going to be making it with this team. What's important, guys, is a tank. A healer, or healer is actually going to be our duck here. And then we're going to have, uh, you know, all the bleeding we can actually bring. So let's get started here. We're starting with no bleeding. That's trash. Can we get some bleeding? Nope. No bleeding again. So that's definitely not a great start here, guys. We're starting with no bleeding at all. Apparently, they don't want me to apply bleeding here, guys. Apparently... Okay, we're going to go with that. Maybe on the first turn, it was not eligible to be bled. Or maybe that's because we kill him every time we attack him. We're not getting any bleeds. Um, I don't know, man. I have no idea what's going on here. That's okay. That is okay. So basically, we're trying to do as much damage as possible. There we go. We finally got some bleed here. Two bleeds. I feel special. I'm not sure uh, Art Hero actually apply bleeds anymore. I'm really not sure. I'm going to check his skills. Maybe that was a mistake from me. Maybe. But you can see, he takes a lot of damage when uh, that goes on. Okay, we got poison. No, we got bleeding. No oink. So you have to attack him with the second skill when we have no oink. Okay. Weird. Should I have bleeding there? No. Okay, can we get some bleeding there? Okay, we got some bleeding. That's not so bad. And pretty much that's the way to do it. You apply as much bleeding as possible, you survive, and uh, you kick ass. We don't have oinks, so we should apply bleeding, but I don't think we have the potential on the, our archero, so that's that. But that's okay. You're going to go try to put more bleeding. Yeah, it's all about bleeding, guys. I know I repeat myself, but I know I got no game sound, too. So we're going to put some game sound. So sorry about that, guys. Oh, that is so much better now. This team is not the best for bleeding. There's much better teams, but that's the team I have built. Uh, on my old account, I can actually do that. Don't forget that this account's been inactive for like four months. I just use it to do raids on my new uh, on my new guild, and that's pretty much the only thing I do with it. So, uh, yeah, this account is not very good anymore. And it's not up to uh, you know the content we have in the game at the moment, pretty much. Okay, we have four stack of bleeding. That was pretty solid. We get more. No, we have oink. With oink, we do critical damage though, which is nice. But no, we want to apply bleeding if we can. So we're gonna save that second skills for when we can actually apply bleeding, I guess. Because he, he does not take a lot of damage when you don't do bleeding. To be honest, that's kind of trash. Okay, we have no oink, and we did apply some bleeding. That's nice. 
for oh, and so I should have talented there. That was my bad. And honestly, the attack down does not really matter here when he applies it on you because, I mean, you're just trying to apply bleed anyway. That is literally the only thing that matters here, so... Whatever, right? Ah, uh, no bleed here. Damn. Killing me, man. He has no stack of bleeding left, so we're gonna be doing a little bit less damage for a few turns here, I guess. I mean, I have no idea how much damage I'm gonna be doing here. The point of this one is not about damage, just to make you guys realize how much damage we are doing when we're applying the proper effect. That's really what's important here, by the way. No oink. We get the bleeds. That's perfect here. And we're surviving so far, so that is pretty great. A five stack here, that's pretty solid. Oh wait, seven stack. He took a shit ton of damage there. That was perfect. That was a very good one. So he's up to 26. I mean, this account is really not up to the tax, but still doing pretty decent here so far. Okay, here we go. Somebody is gonna get murder, man. That was close, bro. Okay, we're gonna try to apply a little bit more bleed, which did not work as we wanted. We lost somebody, which sucks, but I guess that's life here. So we're not gonna get the best score here, but we still should be able to get a decent score. I mean, we're up to 27 bars. Maybe might be able to make it to 28. I don't know, that's going to be a close one. We just need to apply a little bit more bleeds, to be honest. As long as we don't die, we're going to have a chance to apply more bleeds, pretty much. Two bleeds, four bleeds, three bleeds. Okay, he's getting there, he's getting there. Yeah, we made it to 28, so I'm pretty uh, happy with that because this count is really not supposed to be doing that great here. At least not anymore. Uh, we don't have oink. There we go. Bleeding is coming. Oh my, actually make it to 29. Don't need much more to make it to 29 here. At least Strong are surviving like crazy. So we're about to hit 29 here and more. Here we go. Now that's probably close to personal best for me now, but we lost our uh our guy that keep us alive, so we are probably be, gonna be dead in a sec here. Like I expected, we are dead, but you can see guys, most of the damage came from the bleed on the bleed stuff. We still we stopped doing any damage so that's kind of the point of this one then after that you have the burn one and then you have the aoe one which we're going to be covering in the next few days but yes guys for a uh, bell ringer you want to do bleed you want to survive and you want to kick his ass is very ugly ass i'm gonna look at the damage we've done here guys you can't see i mean that's not normal that uh hard dock is number one in damage that kind of showed a point of bleeding being so important Honestly, Zira did not do a great job here. We could have brought somebody that do more bleed like Arch Hero in this team and put Trongar as a lead and we'll probably add more damage in this fight than we had in here. But still, that was just for fun here, guys. In the next few weeks, we are going to be covering, the, uh, you know, what I think are the best teams for uh, each boss. But first, we want to cover each boss to give you the basic info like we did for today's boss. So tomorrow... Uh, we're going to be covering the next one, guys, so make sure you pay attention. If you have any questions, comment, feedback, guys, comment section down below. I'm always here to help you guys. Also, guys, if you want a chance to win uh, 1,000 Drag Coins, make sure you join my Discord server. Link is in the description down below. Uh, assign yourself a role and then go in the Dragon Champion section, giveaway, and then you're going to be able to participate in the giveaway. So the giveaway is still active at the moment. You do so, but we do those on a monthly basis. So guys, thank you for watching. 
Thank you for being part of my amazing community. You all keep enjoying playing Dragon Champion, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you.